Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a sci fi drama film. Wum! Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film starts with the appearance of a pregnant woman named Rebecca, who monologues about a gift as she is drinking while caressing her belly by an empty beach. The scene shifts to a flashback. There were two kids, a girl and a boy sleeping together. Their first meeting and how they became close to each other was shown. The boy introduces himself as Tommy, while the girl introduces herself as Rebecca. They make unforgettable memories by hanging around together more often, making them seem like childhood best friends, which later progresses into something more serious despite being two young kids. One day, Rebecca and Tommy stare at a snail that Tommy has been taking care of. They talk about Rebecca's departure for Tokyo, as her mother will start working in Japan. Just when Rebecca is about to exit the door, Tommy tongue massages her on the lips. Later on, Tommy calls Rebecca on the phone, and they agree that Tommy will see Rebecca off before she leaves for Tokyo. When the time came for when Rebecca was already set for her departure, there was no sign of Tommy. Rebecca leaves without seeing Tommy one last time. The scene transitions to 12 years later. An adult Rebecca comes back to the same pier where she last left as a kid. Rebecca returns to her grandpa's house after years of living in Japan. She starts looking for Tommy, heading to his old place, but Tommy could not be found there. But someone tells Rebecca where else she could find him. Eager to find Tommy, she heads to the place with the given information. Rebecca enters the house. She sees Tommy, but to her surprise, he is with another girl. The reunion of the childhood sweethearts turns awkward, as there's an unexpected person in between their reunion. However, it is still completely obvious that the two are still in love with one another. The other girl can already sense the hormone tension between the two, so she decides to stay out of their undefined relationship and walks out of the room. Tommy later confirms that the girl Rebecca saw wasn't actually his girlfriend. From there on, Rebecca and Tommy start reconnecting once again. They both continue what was left of their connection that was halted 12 years ago when Rebecca left for Tokyo. They both start dating officially, doing what couples normally do. They both introduce themselves to each other again and what they currently do for a living. Rebecca finds out that Tommy likes breeding insects, such as roaches. Tommy also shows Rebecca the snail from 12 years ago, which is now dead, but Tommy decided to keep it. Rebecca and Tommy decide to go on a trip. As Tommy drives the car, Rebecca gets a sudden urge to pee, making Tommy pull the car over for her. Just when Rebecca heads out to look for a spot to relieve herself, she hears a screeching noise and a loud thud. Rebecca slowly turns around. There, she spots a now lifeless Tommy on the ground. A passing car must have crashed onto Tommy, resulting in his death. Rebecca is frozen, as she cannot seem to process what just happened. Rebecca grieves for her loss of someone she loves so dearly. She sees a piece of paper inside the matchbox, where the dead snail is. Rebecca finds a written note by Tommy to Rebecca, saying, I'll wait for you for as long as it takes, which makes her more emotional. This implies that despite Tommy being absent to see her off before, he has been patiently waiting for her to come back for him. Rebecca continues to grieve like no other. She scans photographs of Tommy through his laptop. She goes to the beach alone, bathing in the water like how Tommy would be used to do. She keeps on visiting Tommy's grave to lessen her longing for his presence, but this doesn't help her get over his death. One night, Rebecca invites Tommy's parents to her house to inform them that she would like to clone Tommy, because that way, he will be brought back to life and he will come back to them, alive again. Tommy's parents aren't happy with her idea, telling Rebecca that they have already accepted his death. Tommy's dad gives Rebecca a go signal to do the cloning of Tommy, but he is not 100% pleased with what Rebecca wants to happen. He simply respects her decision, but he hopes that Rebecca will think it over again. Rebecca decides to proceed with the process of cloning Tommy. She heads to a laboratory that makes human cloning. Tommy's clone is now inside her womb, as she will be the one to give birth to him. Rebecca carries the clone of her lover in her own womb, as if it's her own child. She visits Tommy's grave, just before giving birth to the clone of him. After some time, after waiting for months, the clone baby is born. Rebecca raises the new Tommy alone. She only wishes the two of them to live together, with no one else getting in between. But even so, the clone Tommy has no idea that his birth mother, Rebecca, was once his past lover. As Tommy grows up, it is shown that he's indeed a clone of the past Tommy, as he looks exactly the same from when they first both met as kids. Tommy continues to live with the knowledge of Rebecca as his mother. Rebecca acts as the mother of clone Tommy, but her intention of cloning him is quite unclear. She acts inappropriately, as if she forgets that she gave birth to him. This means that it seems she does not mind the incest that would happen, as she still sees Tommy the same way, despite being two completely different people. As Tommy grows old, he meets a friend. 
After some time, Rebecca, together with Tommy and the friend, meets Dima in the middle of the forest with her pet rabbit. The encounter makes Dima feel tense, so she decides to go, until Rebecca invites her to come to their house, which Dima rejects. Apparently, Dima is a product of an artificial replication, which makes Dima a clone like Tommy. It seems that people in the neighborhood discriminate against anyone related to cloning. Even Tommy himself, who is oblivious that he's a clone himself, does not want to befriend Dima. The case of Dima is controversial for the mothers of Tommy's friends, as Dima is known by everybody in town to be a victim of artificial incest. The neighborhood parents are not pleased with Rebecca inviting Dima into their house, because that would mean she tolerates incest. As time passes, the neighborhood parents grow avoided of Rebecca and Tommy, resulting in Tommy's birthday surprise being a complete failure, as the mothers of Tommy friends refrain them from befriending Tommy. Tommy is of course beyond upset that no one shows up at his party, so he shouts at his mother, making them emotional together. Rebecca and Tommy proceed with their lives, completely outcast by the rest, as they have moved to the old Tommy's house by the shore. Rebecca gifts Tommy a toy dinosaur to console his loneliness. After a while, Tommy grows curious about his father. Rebecca answers him, saying that his father died in a car accident. While on the beach, just when the two are enjoying the scenery, a young kid introduces himself, their neighbor who obviously wants to befriend Tommy. Rebecca continues to work from home, while on the other hand, Tommy plays around. The following day, Rebecca and Tommy played from outside the playground near their home. Tommy is suddenly on top of Rebecca in a playful manner, since he is a kid after all. But the situation grows odd, since it looks like Rebecca is seeing her son as the old Tommy she once loved from before. Fortunately, the neighbor kid appears, so the awkward and seemingly inappropriate scene gets stopped. Years later, Tommy has grown mature and is now looking exactly like the former Tommy. He then starts to date a girl he likes, like how a normal person would. Tommy starts going out with a girl named Monica, which Rebecca finds out later after seeing the two on the bed. It's evident that they spent the night together. Rebecca finds the relationship of her son disturbing, as she probably did not expect Tommy would find a girl that he would love. Especially now that Tommy is all grown up, she definitely sees the new Tommy the same way she saw the former one. Rebecca continues to pretend to be a great mother, while his son lives his life to the fullest, dating and doing everything he wants. Tommy even insists that Monica should live with them in their house. The clone of the original Tommy is now proven to be exactly similar to the former Tommy. The clone talks exactly like him, and they even share the same odd interests. Rebecca is completely torn apart as she watches Tommy's clone together with another woman. Rebecca starts talking less, always stuck in her bed. Tommy notices his mother's drastic change, but chooses to ignore it. One night, Tommy is seen sleeping on his bed, only wearing his underwear. Rebecca sits by Tommy's bed. She places a blanket properly over him. But just when everything seems normal, Rebecca pulls off an odd stunt out of desperation by lying beside Tommy on his own bed. Tommy caresses Rebecca, not knowing it's her he's touching. Tommy opens his eyes in surprise when he finds out that it's his mother whom he has been caressing mistakenly, thinking it was Monica. Taken aback by Tommy's reaction, Rebecca proceeds to hide under the blanket to collect her own thoughts. Tommy stands up and immediately puts on his clothes, about to leave the room, but Monica enters the room and makes out with Tommy. Rebecca witnesses this, holding back whatever emotions she has in her. The following day, Rebecca and Tommy continue to act normal. Tommy and Monica play around with the fishnet. Tommy sees his mother being left out, so he includes her in a playful manner. Tommy and Rebecca laugh, but stop when their eyes start to meet. It's supposed to be fun and games between a mother and her son. But Monica senses that there's something wrong with them, so she walks out in jealousy. Tommy looks confused, and it's hard to tell what he thinks about the situation, but decides to follow Monica inside the house. Monica does not set aside what she just saw, so she asks Rebecca if she has something to tell her. But Rebecca remains silent. The following day, just as Tommy gets back from the beach, the mother of the former Tommy appears at the house. The old woman stares at him in disbelief, as the person in front of her is the exact replica of his son. Tommy does not recognize her, leaving him confused. The old lady then leaves. Tommy still wants an answer, but Rebecca does not say anything and instead just cries. Later that night, Tommy goes to Rebecca, hoping he'll get an answer, but still doesn't get any. The morning comes. As they are having breakfast with Monica, Tommy shows his anger by acting up, claiming that he knows the old woman who showed up yesterday. After that, he storms out of the house without finishing his food, still very angry. By the time he is back, Tommy locks himself up inside the bathroom. He wouldn't let either Monica or his mother in. Monica feels that she no longer has a reason to stay in the house, so she leaves with only a glance at Tommy's face, just in time when he gets out of the bathroom. 
After that, Rebecca and Tommy were the only ones left inside the house. Tommy goes inside his mother's room, still crying in desperation, to find an answer to his questions. Finally, his mother talks. Rebecca tells him about the boy she met when she was a child. This still confuses Tommy, so Rebecca stops explaining and just shows Tommy his father's laptop, which will answer everything he wants to know. From there on, it's revealed to the clone Tommy that there is an original Tommy existing long ago. Tommy finally finds out that he is a clone, created from Rebecca's past lover. The revelation only makes Tommy more furious, as he no longer knows the meaning of his life and what to do with it when he is just a clone. He feels as though Rebecca used him. He only finds out that his own mother, who he has known for his entire life, was raising him with the intention to continue living with a clone of her past lover. The intense argument leads to them sleeping together, which Tommy probably did only to give Rebecca what he thinks she truly wants. This leads Rebecca crying as she realizes this. Apparently, she's not ready for the consequences of her decision to clone Tommy. The movie ends with Tommy deciding to leave the house for good. He probably wants to live a life of his own without any connections with his clone, especially Rebecca. Tommy calls Rebecca by her name and not as his mother, thanking her as he exits the door. Rebecca is left alone, brokenhearted with nothing but just regrets of living the consequences of her selfish decision of carrying the clone of her lover in her womb. In the end, it proves that she can only clone the body of her past lover, but definitely not his love. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.